Hello everyone, my name is Diana Fox. For the 10 hour project I chose to make a painting of two young women to remind me of the concept of intrapersonal and interpersonal communication. Intrapersonal communication according to the book ICOM Foundation of Interpersonal Communication is the active internal processing of messages. This means that you become your own sender and receiver as you internally send messages. Whereas interpersonal communication is the interaction between two people who share a relationship. In the picture we see that one of the girls is talking to the other. The one on the left listens attentively and internally analyzes what she is going to say. I wanted this painting to express concern and concentration about what she wants to carefully express. The girl on the right is speaking, but her words are going to be represented by birds. In life we are going to face all kinds of concepts. Some will be positive, others negative, and some unnecessary. Our reaction is what will define what will happen with the conversation. That is why I would like to focus on self-talk. When you communicate to yourself internally, it can also trigger your non-verbal reactions. Even though it may be quiet, its impact can be enormous. In your self-talk, your behaviors, feelings, self-esteem and even your level of stress are influenced by your inner speech. Remember that an important function of self-talk is to help you process who you are and avoiding putting yourself down. For some, it is very natural to be able to express their thoughts with great success. In my case, in some situations, I have said out loud what I really thought and of course sometimes it was not something positive. The birds in the drawing represent the vultures that are mentioned in the book icon, and an attractive bird with sharp claws and a pointy beak whose favorite activity is picking on the weak, the helpless, and preferable, the dead. The psychological vulture that is mentioned does the same thing. It attacks a person perceived weaknesses and eats at the person's self-worth. In some situations, we will find ourselves in the position of the young woman on the left and in other situations, we might be the one on the right. The young woman on the right represents an inner self that uses psychological vultures. When you say, I'm dumb, I can do this as well as he or she, I'm the odd ball in the family, I'm not good at meeting people, I'm too short, tall, fat, thin, or I'm not attractive, According to the book icon, you are using the six areas where the vulture creates their nets. When we allow the vultures to get into our minds, we tend to avoid the areas that we perceive as our weaknesses. The self-fulfilling prophecy is the opposite of that. We can expect good things to happen that may well happen. I learned that one simple way to avoid putting down others or yourself is by putting your hand over your mouth. Soon you will feel a negative statement coming and you will be able to head it off before you say it. But remember that it is not wrong to express your opinion, just that it is important to say it in a clear, useful and positive way. In conclusion. I decided to focus on self-talk because it is something that helps you with intrapersonal communication. When you stop criticizing yourself, you learn to love yourself more. This will not only help you to feel more secure in yourself, but also treat others in a better way, making interpersonal communication successful. If you respect yourself, you can respect others.